in welcoming Pua and Blia Tu up to the microphone. Hello, everyone. You here? Thank you for welcoming us here. <laughs> Hello. Welcome everyone and thank you for letting us be here. I'm proud to be here and I'm glad to see everyone's here uh, all well. Uh, <coughs> I'm old with gray hair. Uh, I'm going to tell you my story. Okay. 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 I am a veteran for the United States. Mm -hmm. uh, I and my colleague have helped United States in the Vietnam War for many years. Some of my friends are not here because they get killed, but I'm lucky to be here. But one Once we learned that uh, the war was going to be ended, uh, I learned from my advisor, CIA, that me and my colleague will not be able to stay here in Laos, and so we have to go to some other places. So I have to immigrate to Thailand. That was the year of 1975. I only stayed in the refugee camp for one year until 1976, then I immigrated to the United States. My family was sponsored by a church in the United States to come here. Back in my homeland, I like to read and write, and once we are here in the United States, one thing that I learned once I'm here in the United States about farming here is that there's a lot of chemical was used to uh, grow the crop. Once I got here uh, with my sponsor in the United States, I told my sponsor that I want to continue and farming again, and so I'm looking for land to farm again. The good sponsor had gone that or farm oh Shanghai le, they go or just do. Now let's go. My sponsor informed me that farming is hard working, and might be able to do it. 
de gu wo ho lu to zu de gu ya ta ho lu wo xian jiao zhao de gu ta ho lu wo but first i found work in american in 76 de gu wo ho lu ha gu tu tu ha gu tun sai a tu yi tu ya yi xiong yi tu zuo xiong two of my kids are 8 and 9 years old de a tu min yong de na nu na nu mong bang jiao to nei lao ge my kids are kind enough that they help the elders clean the home or do basic cleaning in the home and they earn a little bit from that. They Georgia Tony Low, G. Pelu, City, Beatrice, Nebraska. And I also uh, work as a uh, janitor helping the seniors, and at that time it was in the state of Nebraska. The pay or to your E. Pang, two poor ye job pay, the baker dog go cheap. I worked since until 1983, I was able to save. Fifteen thousand dollars. So I used that money to purchase a farm about about four acres. And so I take my family and move to that farm. We began to raise livestock and grow vegetables. I have two sons, three daughters. Ever since then, we are in that farm and we are feeding our family and we trying to raise our family right there in the farm. And I also use some of those crops and vegetable and livestock to feed my own family. And we try to not uh, go and buy from the market very much. I am a family of seven. I believe that um, we grow our own vegetable and raise our own livestock to feed our family, and I believe that my family is very healthy. So far, we haven't encountered any serious disease. I am about two years away from my 80s. Uh, years of birth. <laughs> I am very proud to be healthy and alive today, uh, given the fact that things anywhere between 50 pounds to 100 pounds, I am capable of carrying those on my shoulder without any hesitations. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been working until to the year 2000, and I retire. Since then, I've been traveling and visiting families and friends around the U.S. until I moved to um, north of the United States. The state. And 
given the fact that I visit many states in the United States, I learned and I also like that Minnesota and Wisconsin is of the two greatest states. <laughs> <laughs> The good Sale Chilu Jo Cotteno, the Gulu Nyopino, the Gulu Ote, Legu Yalo Naha. With that, I made the decision to move my family to Wisconsin, one of the northern states, and to raise my family here. The good Sale Ote, Pinote, Tau, Up Hang Pay, the E Ote. We've been in Wisconsin since 2003, and, and since we've been there, we are growing our vegetable and crops and livestock, and we've been selling our produce to uh, Minneapolis farmers markets since. The or the is the your Tom or. Organic, and at that time, we also decided that we will be organic farmers, that everything we grow will be organic. And we started the process, it takes three, three years to be organic. After that three years, uh, we were certified, and so ever since, uh, we're here today and still organic. As you can see, this sign is indicating that it's certified organic. This is the sign that we use, at, we display at our farmer's market behind our booth, uh, indicating to the farmer, I mean to the buyers, that we are certified organic. Being a certified organic farmers, it requires annual inspections. The inspection is uh, going through the uh, soil, the waters, and the equipment or material that we use to raise our crops. I take one step back. Uh, our farm, we bought it by loan. We work hard to earn our organic certifications. Uh, we went and uh, long from the bank, and the bank also want to know uh, what do we have as assets that they uh, can loan us the money. The bank has also explained that to us the Italian monjo that don't know, don't get money. And so the bank gave us a document, and so we have to go to the government to register. With that document, we was able to loan $200,000. And with that, we also can't to be 35,000 out of pockets to purchase a farm. The Jonya good I to under the interest law pay you hang to hold the your not lay Jonya the board more your bank your interest in the pay you. 
with that two hundred thousand dollar we got a very good rate of interest very low rate the issues you all hang the eat eat your nyando uh draw not the eat down let the dash you know eat your nyando each one or not you know block your pants we work hard to pay off our loan and interest uh, now we only have forty thousand left that we owe them. This is our son, and he's uh, hauling the um, manures, chicken manures. This farm is in Nebraska. Yeah. And this is also over there too. This is our garden. Yeah. As you can see here, this is a small plot that we grow vegetable to feed our family. We don't have access to the market. The only access that we have is in Lincoln, Nebraska. And so this is also part of our farm in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, this is beans. Mm. And it's also in Nebraska. Yeah. Uh, when my kids is in school, I'm at the garden. I'm stay home and do my garden. And this is another picture of uh, in Nebraska. This is our chicken coop and duck coop. This is all the chicken that we raise, and since Nebraska weather it's much more warmer, uh, we uh, raise our chicken annually. Our livestock chickens, it's about 10,000 chickens, plus the duck. We also sell our chicken too. Whoever order, whether alive or dead, we help butcher if they want to. This is in Spring Valley, our Wisconsin farm. And this is some of the plots. Yeah. This is green onion. Uh, the year 2017, it rains a lot and it kills some of our uh, onions. I couldn't tell whether this is Yeah, Wisconsin. This is in Wisconsin too. Yeah. This is a uh, vegetable and you can see in the back more green those are grass. Yeah. 
As the year 2017, the entire uh, acres or land that we own became certified organic, whether we grow or not. I'm a, a little bit nervous when we start about we start thinking about becoming certified organic because I don't know the process, so I'm a little bit worried about it. But once we became certified, I learned that it wasn't that hard. Yeah, had mong to Because I don't read and write in English, I worry a lot, but I can tell you that you don't have to read once you learn the technique and skills. It's something that you just do it over and over again. Yeah. We are glad to have our son who speak the language was able to help us process all those paperwork. One thing that I want to share with you that organic, there's a certain guideline that as farmer, I have to follow strictly. Yeah. And if you follow the rules uh, accordingly, there should be no worries. Yeah. Even with the equipment that you use, uh, you have to keep it clean according to the rules so that you don't contaminate them. One thing I also learned that because in the early time I don't wear a hat to protect my head from the cold, now I'm uh, prone to headache more often once the air gets cold, so I learned that I need to put my hat on. Even in the summer, I might put my head on to protect the sun and, and headache. The, this is a part of my garden in Wisconsin. <laughs> we also sell this at our market, and some people ask for the name. What is the name? Um, because our banner said uh, we are certified organic, some people even had doubt that whether that's truth or not. Yeah. And so once people ask me, I say, well, you look at my sign. What did it say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sometimes if they question more, I say, well, you don't have to believe me. You go ask them. They certify us. <laughs> I'd 
Any questions? เนื้อให้เตียถอนได้หลอนดาหลอนไปหน่อยเนี่ยคนดาเนบราสกาเนี่ยมั่วจานไอ้ร้อยเนี่ยวอคนน่ะเอ่อเนี่ยให้จุเ
Well, we have one son that moved to Minnesota here. He worked in the health uh, area. And so since uh, we, he, we raised him at the farm, he's very knowledgeable about uh, looking for land to farm here. And so that's how we get started. Um, one of uh, one thing that uh, found out that helpful for us is that since we began to farm in '83, when we went and applied for that certification, we informed them that we've been farmer for a long time and we never uh, used a lot of chemical or fertilizer in our farm. And that's what we do best, and so that really helped us. Why did you choose to be certified organic? Well, we know the fact that chemical, it's always hazardous to human's health. And so that's one thing that we learned long time ago. Once we arrived in the United States in the early time, we have a lot, we in the community, the Hmong community, we learn from our family and friends that we have many of our community member disease to a lot of disease. Uh, also, um, back in the homeland, I've been enlisted in the Army for 15 years. Some of my training was done in Thailand. And so, as a soldier, uh, I learned that we train a lot and do a lot of physical activities, and we are very healthy. I haven't seen any of my colleagues die of any such horrible disease. Learning that not exposing to a lot of chemical keep one person healthy for a long time. So once we got in this country, I decided that, you know, growing vegetable without a lot of fertilizer and chemical will also help my maintain my health and also help my community to be healthy. So we got a loan from USDA Farm uh, Services. Yeah, Services Agency. Um, 
the ability to um, retain the money that you sell your produce for and learning how to use those money wisely throughout the year, it's very helpful. So the question is, can you give us an estimate of how much annual income you earn from your farm? The answer, well, how do you know which crops that it's most, uh, most likely will be sell quick? So he said, I learned from going to the farmer's market and watching um, the customer who buy those produce. And so I know which one that they buy most. So then when I go home and ra grow my crops, that's the one that I want to be growing. So just give you a brief estimation of how much annual income we generate at a farm. It's at about 70,000 in a per growing season. <laughs> Given the fact that in other years when the weather is not helping us, at those low years we generate about thirty-five thousand. For younger farmers, um, once you have a clear idea of what you want to do, you just have to be patient, keep doing it, learn how to do it, sustain it, one day you'll be successful. So the answer to that question is when you switched to certified organic, was it cost you more than uh, not, uh, traditional? The answer to that is yes. Certified organic, for example, if you buy seed, certified organic seed costs more than those not certified seed. So absolutely yes. Yeah. Nation 
Well, we get a uh, good, good price at farmer's market with our certification, knowingly that we sell a little more than those traditional one. Uh, at the, uh, for the second part of the question, when we sell to wholesale or retails, that when they buy in a lot, uh, we also have to show or verify that we are certified and then they also give us a price that it's fair where we get very decent price. Yeah, Okay. So to uh, really answer uh, that question, uh, if your neighbors, uh, if they are closer to you, and if you farm close to their uh, uh, property line, it's gonna be hard to keep uh, your certification as organic. <laughs> I think we a in the back. But in where we are right now, our farm it's only one corner that our neighbor is close enough. And so we uh, save a buffer zone of about 200 feet from the property line into our property line. Yes, we have three employees we hire to help us uh, do the weeding and keep our crops healthy. Can you repeat your first part of the question? First part of the question was um, seeds. We know that um, all of us that use organic seeds, we pay a lot more. So that's a, that's a, that can be a, a cost um, thing that we have. The other thing is you just mentioned labor, which is another big cost. What are some of the costs that you have on your farm? That's question number one. And then two was about um, machinery. Okay. Okay. 
Now, another part is that we save our own seed too. So whichever that we don't have enough, that's what we go and buy at Johnny. And each time that we bought, it cost me about $200. Uh, we have a machine that help us to wash our vegetable and and cucumber and fruits. Uh, to prepare for to sell at the market. And because our water also get inspected, we have a big bucket where we wash our fruits and vegetables in there so that um, we don't get contaminated from any other area. And we only use those water one time. And so knowing so that certification also requires that your water are also safe. And just know that if you use water from other sources, water that it's not been tested yet, that's not certified. So you cannot do that. You have to use a source of water that was certified. Okay, the question is, what about insurance? How much, uh, given an estimation of how much it costs annually? Okay. Um, okay, so there, it's, there are two answers to the question about insurance. Uh, at, the, at the farm where they live and farm, they have an a, a insurance that also included with their mortgage and the crops together as one package. Now, at the farmer's market, they also have to have another insurance to protect uh, their safety and their customer safety. So that's a different set of insurance that they have to pay. <laughs> 